Nicole here. In today's video is making a pinhole camera. Fun activity to do with your child who loves photography or a student that's learning more of the origins of photography. This goes back to the 1500s. This is where it all began before all our fancy cameras. You'll also hear a term called camera obscura, which is really where it's coming from. Um, it's referencing like a dark box. This is the one we'll be making today and you don't want any light inside. So when you're choosing your materials to build your box, you want a dark piece of paper, poster board, something that's not gonna let light in. So if you make the model in white paper, all the light is going in there through the white paper. So this won't be, this won't work. You need darker paper. Okay, so essentially, what a pinhole camera is, is through the pinhole, you would have this pointing to your lit subject. Let's say you're outside with the blue skies and building below. The light is coming through. And when you, for this model, you would have a towel over your head and over the box, holding out the box. You'll see an inverse image of what you're looking at. And that is what we're talking about when we're talking about camera obscura. This is before all the technology. This is showing the inverse image. This is where photography started. Now, I have two different types of pinhole cameras that we're going to make today. For this model, I actually recently made these with my seven-year-old, and I also made these when he was in preschool and kindergarten. I went into his class and we made these with the class. So I have created this template that you can download. And what you will do is cut out this template, transfer it to a dark piece of paper. Again, you wanna make sure the light is not gonna go through. So even if you only have white, if you have dark tape, like black tape, you could tape the whole box not to let the light in. Okay, so you'll need the template. You'll need a pair of scissors a pencil, a thumbtack, some tape. I have an X-Acto knife because when you see the template, you're actually gonna be cutting out that square. That little W is referencing the piece of wax paper that you'll need because you're gonna be adhering it to the other side of the box like you see here. And you'll see a little letter F that's referring to a piece of foil that you'll need. And this is essentially like the lens, and this would be adhered to the back of the pinhole. So this pinhole, as you can see, it's really small, has the foil behind it, and that's refracting the light around in the box. Okay, then let's get started. Okay, so once you have your box completed, again, you're gonna take a towel, take your towel, you're gonna drape it all over your head. So let's do this, okay? We're gonna put this over your head to block all the light. You're going to have the pinhole pointing to, let's say the blue skies with the building, and you're gonna be holding the box like this looking through away from your face and you'll see the image inverse on the other side. Okay, now here is a different model. I've made several of these. This is a tube pinhole. Now if you have a paper towel roll, great. You don't have to wrap the paper around and that will block the light. But let's 
show you a different option. Let's say you have construction paper. Just roll up your construction paper, not too tight, just about here. Maybe that's, let's see how many inches. That's one inch. I'm going to take my tape and tape this down. Okay. Now, this still involves foil and wax paper, but here is what we'll need to do next. I have this mat with some measurements on it, but if you have a ruler, I would measure down three inches and I just make a mark all along the piece of paper. So I know it's three inches. I'm gonna grab my scissors and cut on that line. So now we have two parts. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to adhere the wax paper to this side, and then I'm going to add the foil on the other side. The third step will be to put them all back together. Okay, here we go. When I'm using the rolled paper method, since versus using a paper towel roll for, or um, any sort of cylinder that you might have, the paper is a little bit more fragile. So I'm just making sure I'm not like squishing the, the circumference so it still is round. Just a good tip. I'm going to use my pin. Now, if you make a really big hole on these size pinhole cameras, when you're looking at your object or the building, for example, it's not gonna be as crisp. So if you just use a pinhole and just use that small little size pinhole, it will be great. Okay, now I'm going to take these two pieces and put them together. So there's a lot of light coming in. If I look through here, yes, there's a decent amount of light. Okay. So I'm simply just going to take another piece of foil and I'm going to wrap the whole thing. I'm just gonna pretty dark in the tube, but you can see there's some seepage. There's some light coming in where that thing is. So if I just wanted to take half of this, I could do, let's do that. Let's take half of it since we have this great red color. And let's just wrap where we need it. But if you wanted a cleaner look, by all means, wrap the whole thing if you wanted to. We just wanna make sure there's no light coming in. Okay. Okay. The difference with this model compared to the box is that this one you'll be holding up the tube to your eye. And you'll be pointing, again, you'll be pointing the pinhole to whatever you're looking at. So you're gonna be holding it up to your eye and looking around and seeing everything in the inverse. Okay, okay, that's it. These are the two pinhole cameras we made today. Have fun with this learn more about photography. It's so much fun to see the origins of photography and how photography began and just these simple concepts before all the technology that we have today. Have fun. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.